when you go to use a scholarly or an academic source in a project or a paper, most of the time you're going to be using an article in an academic journal. This is Chelsea Clary of Clemson University, and I'm going to demonstrate how you cite an article in an academic journal that's hosted online. So to review, scholarly sources are identifiable by, identifiable by three traits. They have a scholarly author, someone who's an academic or an expert in the field. They come from a scholarly publisher, a well-reputed outfit connected to a university or occasionally a textbook publisher that has a process of peer review in place. And they have scholarly citations. Within the text, in some format, there are references to other works so that it's joining an academic conversation on the subject. You'll sometimes find sources that have two out of three of this on a university's blog, for instance, or as a press release, but that makes it a good source, but it has to have all three to count as a scholarly source. Now, when people go to cite these, they sometimes end up using the format of a standard web page instead of putting a work cited entry for a journal article. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this correctly. Here to help me is our old friend, the online writing lab or OWL at Purdue University. So looking through electronic sources, a lot of people want to stop here at a page on a website. In fact, what you want to do is keep scrolling through the image to an article in an online scholarly journal. So we're going to use this as our reference because you really shouldn't memorize um, citation formats. They'll just change them on you. And we're going to go to a sample academic article here. So we know that the first thing we have is always going to be the author. In this case, Lakshmi Nair and Olosun Adityaya. We're going to keep the order they're listed in. And since it's, hang on, it's not typing. There we go. Since it's MLA, we use, we'll use their full names instead of going down to initials. And to be respectful of my academic colleague, I'm gonna check I've got all my vowels in the right places, which I do not. Thank you, Google, you know that name. So checking here, I know that the next thing is gonna be the article title, which in this case is cultural competence and ethnic diversity in healthcare. Since it's something that's published as part of a larger piece, I'm going to put that article title into quotation marks. It's cultural. Next comes the name of the journal. Now, I'm using the NCBI here, which is a database for um, biomedical information. And it uses um, what I believe is called the reference list title, which is this shorter form of the journal's title. It, MLA doesn't use those. So I just Googled that. Your first couple of results is gonna give you the full title. So I now know that it is plastic and reconstructive surgery global open. Comma. And now I need my volume and issue information, which is here. This abbreviation here, because this is in a different format, means volume seven, issue five.
volume section number five. Every so often you'll get an annual journal that doesn't actually have um, individual issues, in which case you just leave that out. I know this came out in 2019. MLA requires only the year, although I wouldn't be surprised if that changes in a future edition. And I need a permanent link or a DOI, which helpfully this source provides right here. And I like to have the date of access. Today is the 17th of March. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I italicize the title of the main thing because that's an overall container type of item. I'm going to break my hyperlink here. And I am going to create a hanging indent. OK, that is a full citation for a online hosted academic journal article. If it is also in print, you will normally be able to get it as a PDF file, in which case you'll take the page numbers of the actual article so that someone who has the print copy can still find it and just pretending for a moment that this one is like that. We're gonna say it's pages 35 to 39. So that's how that would look, but this is an online open source journal, so. We do not need that. Oh. So there we go. That is how you cite an academic journal. It gives you enough information that you'll be able to find this article again, even if it moved to a different website. So happy citation, and I will see you later. <laughs>